Hi everyone, in this video we're looking at, um, this is our fraction decimal percentage conversion series. So this is video one and we're going to look at percentage to fraction and percentage to decimal in this video. So um, we need to recognize that fractions, decimals and percentages are all representations uh, of parts of a whole. So that's what we um, may need to make the connection and that there are different strategies to convert when you've been given a percentage to say a fraction or a decimal. This little uh, flow chart is a very comprehensive one. However, I would suggest that we go that one just because if you are, um, there are a couple that are a bit more challenging to do and if you can get to one, um, do one conversion, then you can lead on to another. So in this one here, we're looking at percentages to fractions. So remember always that a percentage is out of 100. So it doesn't matter what the number is, it's going to be, that's why it's called a per cent. So um, per 100. So it's always going to be your percentage over 100. So with this one here, 47 over 100, I'm going to just write in black so you can see it's a little bit different than my um, side notes is going to equal 47 over 100. Now I can check if I can simplify and I'm pretty certain I cannot because 47, yep, 47 is not um, something you can simplify any further. So, I mean, 47 and 100 don't have a common um, factor. 20 equals 20 over 100 and I know that they definitely are. Um, I could start with just the zeros, so there's 2 over 10. And then the other one would be 1 over, oh, yeah, 1 over 5. So I'm simplifying. For a moment there, I thought I was doing the wrong thing. Um, 1 fifth. Now this one might be a little bit trickier. It's still over 100. So you go 36.4 over 100. You can put that into your calculator, and it will give you... As a fraction, it's going to give you 91 over 250. And the reason why is because of this decimal. If you're going to write that as a whole number, because it is a decimal, like as a um, where your numerator doesn't have a decimal in it, you would actually write 364 over 1000. Because they're both even numbers, you simplify, and it looks like you can probably simplify. Oh, and that ends in a 4. And there's a multiple of 4. So, I mean, yep, 64 is divisible by 4. Um, and so is 1,000. So you can divide both those by... by 4. And that's what gives you your answer of 91 over 250. If in doubt, always use your calculator. What I would like you to do now is pause the video. Have a go at these three questions here. Um, don't forget to write your fraction as a, um, I'm sorry, write your fraction in simplified form if your numerator and denominator have a common factor. So remember, fact, common factors of 100, I mean, sorry, common factors of 100. Factors of 100 include 1 and 100, 2 and 50, uh, 4 and 25, 5 and 20, 10, and I think that's it. There you go. So, um, have we got those? Pause and get started with the next one. All right, so percentage to decimal. Now, I've got a picture of Beyonce here, and the reason why is it's a really silly thing, but it helps everyone remember, is that when Beyonce sings, she tells you her... You, when she's breaking up, she's putting everything to the left and her life is getting smaller. So that's how you can remember this. So when you're dividing, um, sorry, when you're converting a percentage to decimal, so uh, 10%, and we run and write it as a decimal, we're going to move, um, we're essentially dividing by 100 because if you wrote it as a fraction, it would be 10 over 100 and you're simplifying. So 10 divided by 100, um, the law, like, the shortcut for dividing is moving the decimal two places to the left because we're making it smaller 
and we're dividing and the answer ends up being 0 0.1. So that's the shortcut, move the decimal two places to the left or you can write it as a fraction, simplify and then put that in your like um, or hit the SD button. The SD button on your calculator. So there's a couple of strategies there. So in this case here, 47, I'm going to take my decimal and move a 1, 2. So that now leaves us with 0.47. You do the same thing here, but be careful because I'm actually going to rewrite that. 2% with its decimal here. We move that two places to the left, 1, 2. There's this space here, we actually need to put a zero in its place. So it becomes zero point two. And we move our decimal two places, one, two, becomes oops, sorry, zero point three six four. And if you're ever unsure, you can um, use your calculator. Do this. Hopefully it comes up. Uh, thirty-six point four. Shift percentage, so shift bracket key, enter, gives us a, as a decimal. And if you want to know what it is, that is a fraction. There it is, 91 to 50. That's what we got from the previous part of the video. So there you are. I would like you to pause and write these percentages as decimals. All right. All the best with that, guys. Um, in the next video, we'll be looking at converting decimals to percentages and fractions. Okay.